All right, we moved it inside. I've removed the cover and I've removed a number of the bolts for each one of the, of the sticks. And we'll finish up here. I'll show you the other side. So I removed all the bolts on the batteries and the positive temp temperature coefficient uh, te uh, temperature sensors and there are the sticks on one side got to do the other side now here's the other side and I'm going to have to remove all of this here looks like there's one two three bolts at the top and maybe three bolts at the bottom and that should remove this this plate here I'll do that next okay in addition to the six bolts that are exterior there are four bolts that are holding the bus bars down there's one here they're covered by these little rubber things there's, there's one here and then there's three here on this side over here and you have these these little rubber things so you need to pull those out and remove the screws that are that are in there and the whole thing will, will come off uh, here's the unit off off the battery pack and on the reverse side you can see the four connections there's three of them over here and one down there they were hidden by that by those little rubber covers anyway and now we have the other side of the battery and I'll remove those screw those bolts. There are four standoffs that offset the connection to the bus bar and those need to be removed. There's there's four of those. There's three here at this corner. And then there's one down here at the bottom. Those need to be removed. And then I'll remove the rest of the screws. Okay, I've removed all the bolts to the batteries. There are two connections to either end of the PTC sensors. There's one right here, and the other contact to the bottom over here. You just need to remember that. And the wire is rooted along the bottom here. There's a, a little attachment points here so just have to remember that when you take it off all right I removed all the connections to the PTCs and I removed both ends of the of the sensor out output uh, the sensors are in in series so the uh, fault does not discriminate between which stick was bad and which which cell was bad, so just an overall uh, resistance change uh, from heating up. So, all right, I'll remove that and come get back to you. I've been up the PCT tabs on all 20 sticks, and the plate would not come off, so I, I found out there's four more bolts at the corner that you have to remove, and those are eight millimeter bolts. All right, I removed the, the contact pad on this side. It did take a little bit of effort. What I did was I put a small screwdriver, put a small screwdriver in in the places where where the PTC sensor was was held down on both sides, and was able to pull it pull it out. And I'm just leaving the connector connected and setting it on top. So there are the sticks. They're all disconnected now, both sides. I replaced all of the sticks except for these four. These have an additional sensor on them. There's a, a blue, yellow, white, and green wire going to them. And the sensor goes about, looks like about six inches in. So I'll just take those off and put those on the 
the new sticks that I have. I measured the voltage on the, on the old sticks and they ranged uh, from 8 volts uh, down to about 7.5 volts. So obviously voltage is not, not really a good figure of merit for these. You really need to know uh, their power performance. This is one of the sensors. It looks like a thermistor. Could be a thermocouple, I guess. And it's heat shrunk. And they have a piece of, of um, a scotch tape on here to hold the sensor, on, sensor down. So I'll just be re replacing them on, onto, the, uh, onto the new sticks and taping them down. Okay, all the cells are in. I tested them. The voltages range from 7.75 volts to 7.85 volts, which is a, a smaller range than the old batteries. The old batteries range from 7.53 to 8.03 volts. So maybe the balance was was bad on the on the old batteries. I'll, I'll try to rebalance them and keep them. Uh, now the the PCT, all of them were in the 1.2 to 1.3 ohm range. So they all seem to be be good. I did replace the or transfer over the thermistors. There there are four four of the sticks have thermistors on there. I simply just taped them on there. There are these little plastic retainers here and you can just pop those off just pull down on them they, they come off the plastic retainers and put them back use them again just put them back in there they pop right back in and they, and they hold down the, the sensor cable all right I'm getting ready to put it back together now so I'm done replacing the, the sticks I measured the PTC resistance for the entire system and it was 21.4 which uh, is good so that means we're making good contact with the temperature sensors and I'm ready to put the thing back together and proceed okay I'm going to test the voltage on either side of the cutout switch. So I'm going from ground to one side of the switch and I have 62.6 volts and now let's go from the other side of the switch to the positive terminal. Positive terminals up here and we have 93.8 volts. Okay negative direction here but that's okay so that's our voltage so everything looks good so let's put it together I'm getting ready to install this bank on onto the the battery module this is the bank that has the the switch and the fuse, the 100 amp fuse, and then you have your current monitors and uh, some resistors and so forth. But there's a nub. Let me see if I can get into the micro on this. There's a nub right right here that you have to lift up. It helps to align it. So you should be aware of that. There's a nub there. So when you you put this on you just need to lift it over over and put it on the nubs and it just sits there so it sits there nicely and now I'm going to screw it down all right we're almost done we've installed the cover on this this side of the battery bank of the battery. The last thing I need to do is to install the plugs. These are the, the plugs that go over the contacts. 
So I, they co they cover over the. Let me see if I can see this. Let me go to the micro. The contacts inside there. There there's there's one. I got these two already covered over. That's one of the contacts right there. And we'll stick the plug right in there. The flat side goes towards the electrode. The bus bar. This covers up the hole. There it is. So you gotta know that there's there's two there's four bolts that are hidden under under these covers. There's a cover and there's a cover. And there's one over here. So you gotta remove those in order in order to get this bank off. Alright, so tomorrow, that's it for tonight. So tomorrow I'm going to install this.